today we are going to discuss about acids bases and salts we already know from the 7th grade itself that the acids are so to taste and turns blue litmus to red while bases are soapy to touch and they turn red litmus to blue have you ever noticed that the problem with an acidity patient taking an antacid syrup or chewing tablets there are many natural materials like litmus Uh, extract of red cabbage turmeric solution and some colored petals of some flowers like hibiscus they are all used to make indicators generally we prepare the solution of these materials and dip a paper in it and dry it in the shade and cut into pieces and we use them to find the solution to be acid or base In general in labs we use red litmus and blue litmus to test the acids and bases make some samples of solutions of acids and bases take some acids hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid and acetic acid bases of sodium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide when we dip red litmus papers into acids and bases as is observed to be no change in color whereas the bases the red litmus turns to blue when you dip blue litmus paper into acids and bases acids changes blue litmus to red whereas bases does not change its color from this observation we can say that acid changes blue litmus to red whereas bases changes red litmus to blue observe carefully this table from the above experiment we can see all the acids changes blue litmus to red whereas bases turns red litmus to blue in addition to the above indicators we also use some synthetic indicators such as methyl orange and phenethylene methyl orange appears to be slight orange in color and phenethylene is colorless When a drop of methyl orange is added to hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid and acetic acid, these acids change their color into red. Whereas the bases like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide, they change into pale yellow color. When a drop of phenethylene is added to acids like hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid and acetic acid there observed to be no change in color while they are added to sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide they turn into pink purple color from the above experiment it is very clear that when methyl orange added to acids it turns to red and when added to bases it turns to pale yellow on adding phenethylene to acids it is colorless and phenethylene to bases it turns to pink color in addition to these indicators some substances whose order changes in acidic or basic medium these are called olfactory indicators and there are some examples for it onion vanilla essence and clove oil In order to test these olfactory indicators, take an onion, chop it into pieces, place two pieces of cloth in it and keep it in fridge for a day. In a bowl, take a clove oil and keep two pieces of cloth in it and in vanilla essence, dip two pieces of cloth in it. Get these properties ready and dip the two cloth sheets, one in hydrochloric acid and the other in sodium hydroxide. solution now get the two strips from hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide and rinse them separately under distilled water and try to observe their order and record in your observation and do the same thing with vanilla essence and clove oil also it is observed when these three are in dipped in hydrochloric acid they retain their orders while they are dipped in sodium hydroxide solution they lost their order from this we can conclude that all the three s or factor indicators retains their smell in acidic medium and 
loses their odor in basic medium from the above indicators i think you have known how to identify a solution to be acidic or basic thanks for watching thanks for viewing my channel if you like it please share it to the needed students and make them subscribe and post a comment of your need